Hi, I'm Sherry Strong, food philosopher, author, and illustrator of Return to Food, the life-changing anti-diet. In the illustration today that I'm talking about, it's all about sugar. Crikey, is this a big topic. Sugar is everywhere, and this illustration was kind of a throwback to the, you know, the 20s and 30s and 40s where they had these, you know, splashy ads that were saying, you know, certain things like cigarettes, refreshing break, and your doctor recommends. And so this is kind of my advertisement for sugar. Refined sugar is natural as heroin, and it's good for you too. <laughs> and the interesting thing is about sugar is that it's highly processed. In the next video, I'm actually going to go into those processes. But just to let you know that when I first discovered this, I was reading a book called On Food and Cooking by Harold McGee. This is when I was a chef. I wasn't actually really into nutrition or didn't totally understand the impact of sugar. In fact, I was probably in full-on blown addiction to sugar, absolutely. And it created havoc in my life, literally like any drug. I remember having a girlfriend come over who was also a chef. She was actually the head chef that initially trained me. And she said, what is wrong with you? She could see these really, really dark circles under my eyes. And anytime I'm eating too much sugar in any form, I get these dark circles under my eyes, which is often, uh, well, it's clearly a sign of deficiency and it can be a few things that are actually going on in the body. So your body's constantly communicating to you signs of addiction and the fact that I couldn't go probably a minute in the day without eating something or thinking about sugar or some kind of source of sugar was a sign that I was truly hooked and it was doing some nasty things to my body including probably the number one symptom that was creating the most angst in my life was severe depression. And I remember going to the doctor at the time and I wanted a solution for my depression. <laughs> and he gave me an antidepressant. And I knew in my gut that this wasn't gonna work. And I said, I don't want a drug. Like, I want you to help me, but I don't want a drug. But what I wasn't willing to do at the time, I wasn't willing to address the behavior that I was actually addicted to the sugar. And the deeper thing that I wasn't willing to admit is that I was actually living a life that was not true to my hero's journey, to my calling in life. And this is what I find with most people who are actually going through severe food addiction, whether it's you know sugar, salt, oils, starches, whatever it is that is your particular drug of choice, there's usually some aspect of denying a greater and deeper truth within your life. And as I say in one of the illustrations I'll talk about down the track, addiction is your body's way of saying you're not listening to your soul. So we know now that the processes that we refine sugar with are very similar to how we take opium sap and turn it into heroin and coca leaves and turn it into cocaine. And again, I'm gonna go into that further in the next illustration. But the truth is that actually is kind of underlying all of that not the truth. Uh, what we've since discovered is that sugar lights up the brain, the brain receptors that eight times more, those drug receptors, than cocaine. So this stuff is not only highly addictive, it's super cheap, it's almost in everything, and it's actually hard to go anywhere without it. So if you have sugar addiction, it's actually harder in the world that we live in to deal with it in many respects because it's so socially acceptable. In fact, there's pressure not to give sugar such a bad rap. And it's literally a multi-billion dollar interest industry globally that um, really creates this false sense of that it might be potentially good for you. And the bottom line, they have advertisements that say that sugar is natural. Well, when we'll learn in the next video, you can never make refined sugar in nature, not even come close to it. There's nothing natural about it, and its derivatives and other versions of refined sugars are even more unnatural than refined sugar, so we'll find out more about that. But if you have a habit where you're trying to actually kick sugar, we can help. And if you'd like to find more resources on how to develop a healthier relationship with food, your body, and the planet, please go to returntofood.com. And we'll see you there. Love to help you out.